Just look at this night sky view. It is so soothing and mesmerizing to see the stars. Our best estimates tells us that our home galaxy Milky Way is made up of approximately 100 billion stars. These stars form a large disk whose diameter is about 100,000 light years. Many star systems have not just one but two stars or more in them. The brightest star in the night sky, Sirius, appears to be one of the single star to the naked eye, but in fact it is a binary star system where two stars that are gravitationally bound to and in orbit around each other. The nearest star system Alpha Centauri is in fact a triple star system consisting of three different stars bound together. In comparison, our star Sun appears to be lonely. But what if I told you that the Sun might have a companion star that is yet to be discovered? This is the Universe Factory, and in today's video, we are talking about a hypothetical star and its relation to our Sun. This is going to be super interesting. Let's begin. Before we begin, if you are constantly curious about the universe, if you want the big questions answered, this channel is right for you. So if you haven't already, do consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon next to it. We constantly post interesting stuff dedicated to astronomy that you wouldn't want to miss. Additionally, find us on social media platforms, links to which have been mentioned in the description down below. Make sure to check out. Now to understand about this particular star and its relation with our sun we need to discuss about extinction events throughout the earth's history this planet has suffered many major and minor extinction events the famous one being the one that wiped out all the dinosaurs of the planet around 66 million years ago in 1984 paleontologist david drop and jack sapkowski published a paper where they studied the last 250 million years and found out a statistical periodicity telling that on on an average the mass extinction events happened around every 26 million years fast forward in 2010 adrian millet from university of kansas and richard bambach from smithsonian institution museum of natural history re-examined the fossil data including the now improved dating continued on Rob and Sepkoski's research this time studying last 500 million years they found out that these extinction events have the periodicity of around 27 million years these findings from Mellot and Bambach were consistent in their 2013 studies as well these findings led to a theory where it is suggested that there is some unknown object in our neighborhood that is responsible for these periodic mass extinction events but what if it is this unknown object is a long lost twin of our sun what if our sun is not alone at all but is a part of a binary system according to the claims there might be a star a hypothetical red or brown dwarf to be orbiting the sun at a distance of about 1.5 light years somewhat beyond the oort cloud They even call this star as Nemesis. The theory is that this Nemesis star approached the Oort cloud every 26-27 million years. Its gravitational turbulence sent a lot of comets hurtling towards the inner solar system, and it is possible that this evil twin of our sun was responsible to throw the asteroid that eventually collided with Earth and wiped out all the dinosaurs. If it does exist the exact nature of Nemesis is uncertain. It has been suggested that the most likely object is a red dwarf with an apparent magnitude between 7 and 12 while some researchers argue for a brown dwarf. However, Nemesis is so distant from the sun it is expected to be subject of perturbations by passing stars and therefore its orbital period should shift by 15 to 30%. The existence of a sharp 27 million year peak in extinction events is therefore inconsistent with Nemesis. Another possibility of existence of Nemesis is Sedna. Sedna is a trans-Neptunian object and has an extra long and unusual elliptical orbit around the sun ranging between 76 and 937 astronomical units. 
Sedna's orbit takes about 11,400 years to complete once. Its discoverer Michael Brown of Caltech noted in a Discover Magazine article that Sedna's location seemed to defy reasoning. Sedna shouldn't be there, Brown said. There is no way to put Sedna where it is. It never comes close enough to be affected by the sun, but it never goes far enough away from the sun to be affected by the other stars. Brown therefore postulated that a massive unseen object may be responsible for Sedna's anomalous orbit. This line of inquiry eventually led to the hypothesis of Planet 9. Another possible candidate is HD 186302, a star in constellation Pavo which is 185 light years away from the Earth with an apparent magnitude of 8.76. It was identified in November 2018 as a potential solar sibling to the Sun. Similar by spectrum and size, it was suspected to have formed in the same stellar nursery as the Sun 4.6 billion years ago. However, many sky surveys spanning several years turned up no traces of Nemesis. Searches for Nemesis in the infrared are important because cooler stars comparatively shine brighter in infrared light. The Infrared Astronomical Satellite or IRAS failed to discover Nemesis in the 1980s. The Two Mass Astronomical Survey, which ran from 1997 to 2001, failed to detect a star or brown dwarf in the solar system. In particular, if Nemesis is a red dwarf or a brown dwarf, the WISE mission that is an infrared sky survey that covered most of the solar neighborhood in movement verifying parallax measurements was expected to be able to find it. WISE can detect 150 Kelvin brown dwarfs out of 10 light years and the closer a brown dwarf is, the easier it is to detect. Calculations in the 1980s suggested that Nemesis object would have an irregular orbit due to perturbations from the galaxy and the passing stars. The Mellot and Bambach work shows an extremely regular signal, inconsistent with the expected irregularities in such an orbit. Thus, while supporting the extinction periodicity, it appears to be inconsistent with the Nemesis hypothesis though of course not inconsistent with other kinds of substellar objects. According to a 2011 NASA news release, recent scientific analysis no longer supports the idea that extinctions on Earth happened at regular, repeating intervals and thus the nemesis hypothesis is no longer needed. But what do you think? The Sun 2.0 really exist? What are your thoughts about Sun's evil twin called Nemesis? Comment your thoughts below. Thank you for watching another thought provoking video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you got to learn something new today, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. It would mean a lot for growing this channel. We constantly post about the latest news and happenings in the world of astronomy. Like this video and share it with your friends and family members. Help us grow our little family of stargazers. If the Sun 2.0 really exists, do you think that Earth 2.0 would be revolving around it? Or if you are curious what to watch in March 2024 night sky, check out these suggested videos. We'll be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then, keep looking up.